Hello friends, welcome to One Academy. Let's crack neat PG. I'm Dr. Shivali Chandra. I'm Ms. Gaini from Alana Azad Medical College, New Delhi. And in this particular video, I'm going to be talking about emergency contraception. I have highlighted my reference code here, which is S H O N A L I. If you use this code to subscribe to the One Academy platform, you will get a 10% discount on your subscription. You can follow me on the Telegram link that has been highlighted here for any queries and doubts at any time of the day. And uh, talking about the platform that is an academy, it is India's largest learning platform. And if you get a plus subscription, you get access to unlimited live and recorded courses from India's best educators. Uh, you'll get daily live classes where you can interact with your teachers, ask uh, doubts and queries with your faculty and get them solved there and then. So it's like a live classroom experience. Uh, the courses are uh, structured in line with the uh, NEET PG syllabus and you also have live tests and quizzes which can help you evaluate your performance every now and then and most importantly the access is unlimited. One subscription gets you access to all of the live sessions and even if you miss out on the live sessions you can always watch the recorded versions from the comfort of your own devices. And uh, we have top educators who are associated with the Unacademy platform. We have Dr. Nikita Nanwani, Dr. Muhammad Azam, Dr. Preeti Sharma, Dr. Devesh Mishra, sir, for pathology. Uh, various courses are offered on the platform pertaining to all the 19 subjects that we need to prepare. And in addition to that, uh, there are various batch, batch courses, uh, which are comprehensive courses and concise crash courses. They keep getting launched every now and then. So you can check out the ongoing courses in our platform as well. And as far as the subscription packages go, we have uh, shorter duration packages like three months and six months, and even longer duration packages like 12 months and 24 months. So uh, if you ask me, for those of you who are uh, preparing and targeting for the next uh, mid-year exams like AIMS or um, PGI or uh, NIMHANS which are going to take place in the next year, mid-year sometime, then they can take the 12-month subscription because that will give ample time to uh, go through all the live sessions and recorded sessions and leave you enough time in the end to revise as well. And it turns out to be more economical also in the long run, just uh, rupees 2,083 per month. And uh, for those of you who want to take a slower pace of preparation, who are in their third year and final year still, and uh, they are juggling hospital shifts and night duties and classes and clinics and everything, uh, and who cannot sit for long durations uh, in a day, then they can choose the 24 months subscription. It turns out to be far more economical in the long run, just rupees 1250 per month. And if you subscribe using my code, that is S-H-O-N-A-L-I, then you will get a 10% discount on your subscription as well. So coming back to the topic of discussion today, which is emergency contraception. Uh, what exactly is emergency contraception? Now, as the name suggests, emergency, it is supposed to be used in an emergency, right? And what kind of emergency could it be? Well, it could be that there has been an unexpected, unprotected intercourse, right? Or it could be that a woman is on some regular mode of contraception uh, uh, and uh, that uh, method goes haywire. Like, for example, she is routinely taking oral contraceptive pills, but uh, for some reason she has forgotten to take her regular pills. And then in that time period, some uh, unprotected intercourse has happened and she wants to cover that, being extra cautious. Then she can use the emergency mm -hmm. contraception or a couple is using condom and the condom slips or breaks, right? And then that can be an indication for using emergency contraception. Or even in cases of um, rape, you know, the rape victim needs uh, uh, to be covered with emergency contraception as well. So that is important. So these are the indications of uh, using emergency contraception. But I want to emphasize on a very, very important fact here that it is not a regular method of contraception. So if you feel that uh, today this unprotected intercourse happened and I can go ahead and use emergency contraception, and then and again the same thing happens three days later 
and again the same thing happens so a couple of days later again so then it makes no sense then you need to be on a regular more effective method of contraception rather than keep using these emergency contraceptive pills every now and then okay now what are the methods that are used for emergency contraception well um, of course when you saw the indications then you do realize that such kind of emergency can arise at any point of the day it can happen in the middle of the night right and uh, it can happen in the early hours of the morning or any 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 time of the day so yes it should be uh, accessible that is very very important it should be accessible easily available and that is why the most commonly used method is the levonorgestrel pill which is available over the counter so a couple can simply go and buy the medication and it is taken care of no prescription required and then yes so we have the combined pills combined oral contraceptive pills which can also be used as a method for emergency contraception now this method was originally suggested by uspe that is why it is called as the uspe's method now when he originally suggested the method at that time the uh, ethyl estradiol content in the pills was 50 micrograms right <clears throat> and some of the other progesterone is also there in the combined pills so he suggested that the woman take two tablets right and then 12 hours later she repeats the same dose again two tablets now let's say for example if a woman is using a regular oral contraceptive pills and most of the times the women are on the low dose oral contraceptive pills now which contain somewhere between 20 to 30 micrograms of ethanol estradiol depending upon the brand so if she is using those pills then you know then two tabs are not going to work then she needs to take four tablets immediately and repeat after 12 hours another dose of four tablets now the downside of this method is that such high dose of uh, estrogen progesterone pill uh, taken together can lead to nausea vomiting and gi upset and these kind of uh, side effects so this is something that is not preferable to most of the women and that is why now we have the most common used method which is levonorgestrel i pill where such gastrointestinal symptoms and side effects are avoided altogether and then we have the other method which is a new method which is really pristal acetate so that can also be used i will be talking about it in detail in a while and then another method is the intrauterine copper containing devices uh, those can also be used as a method for emergency contraception but you can understand that a woman cannot insert it on her own it's not like popping a pill so yes if, uh, if uh, iucd has to be used as a method for emergency contraception then the woman will have to uh, seek a healthcare provider visit a doctor and then that would uh, that person would insert the copperty and then we have the mifepristone a mifepristone is a drug uh, which has been used for emergency contraception as well it is well studied and it has been uh, used uh, in all it's studied in all possible dosages beginning from 600 mg to uh, 200 to 400 to 100 50 uh, mg and now finally 10 mg even as low dosages as 10 mg is the final effective dose of uh, mifepristone as an uh, emergency contraception but these small tablets containing only 10 mg of mifepristone they are not available uh, currently uh, clinically so mifepristone is uh, yes well studied well researched but it is seldom used uh, as a method of uh, oral com emergency contraception in routine clinical practice and we have better methods to use like levonorgestrel pill and intrauterine devices and ulip stall acetate as well so talking about the most commonly used method which is the levonorgestrel containing pill this is a progesterone containing pill comes with the trade name i pill and you can see here there is just one pill in the packet right so is a prescription required for this no a prescription is not required we can buy it over the counter it is available over the counter medication no prescription required how to take the pill it is advisable to take it as soon soon as possible preferably within 72 hours of the unprotected intercourse or sex 
So it should be taken as soon as possible, preferably within 24 hours. The sooner it is taken, the better it is, right? And if we delay it, then the efficacy decreases. Now, what is the dose that it should be taken in? A 1.5 milligram single dosage. So the packet contains just one pill. It is supposed to be taken as soon as possible, preferably within 72 hours. Earlier, earlier there was uh, two pills in the packet used to be there each pill was 7.75 milligrams right so if there is a 0.75 milligram levonarge estral containing pill then we take one tablet immediately and then 12 hours later we have to repeat another one tablet of the same dose so this was what was used earlier but nowadays the pills that are available in the market they contain 1.5 milligrams of levonarge estral in the single tablet and that too should be taken as a single dose now what is is the main mechanism of action with this levonorgestrel pill how does it work now the progesterone in this uh, levonorgestrel pill it actually leads to inhibition of ovulation it actually leads to delaying ovulation so it delays ovulation right and possibly even inhibits it right so this is the main mechanism of action of the levonorgestrel pill and the progesterone component of this pill also uh, leads to prevention of fertilization how so because this progesterone causes the cervical mucus to thicken so it prevents the ascent of uh, sperms up the cervix it also affects the tubal motility so the tubal motility is also impaired so it also uh, prevents the sperms from uh, you know moving into the tubes and that is how it prevents fertilization by avoiding the ascent of sperms up in the genital tract towards the tube even if fertilization happens it also impairs the movement of the fertilized conceptors towards the uterine cavity and therefore these are the methods other methods also by which this levonorgestrel pill contributes to if its effectiveness and does it prevent implantation though well now progesterone is also believed to cause the uh, thinning of the endometrium and by this uh, mechanism it is possible that it can also uh, make the uterine environment or endometrium unfavorable for implantation unfavorable for implantation now that is what progesterone does but the recent research that is coming up is showing that levonorgestrel does not necessarily prevent implantation all the time so that is why prevention of implantation is i have made it a query because mostly the recent evidence is suggesting the recent evidence is suggesting that it uh, does not uh, prevent implantation okay now does it uh, lead to an abortion once the pregnancy does occur now even if a woman takes the pill and by chance fertilization occurred by chance now the implantation also occurred then if there is an already established pregnancy this pill cannot cause an abortion very very important to remember that it is not an abortifacient so it yes uh, it does work by some very effective means means like delaying ovulation like prevention of fertilization but if implantation occurred already and pregnancy is already established then it does not cause an abortion so that is again very very important to remember because some people you know by view of the cultural practices and societal practices could be against the idea of abortion so yes uh, please keep in mind also that this uh, medication does not lead to an abortion of an already established pregnancy now the other important aspect of this pill is that yes this pill can be used by any woman first of all very very important right so normally we tend to see that uh, the combined hormonal pills and the progesterone pills they have these wide range of contraindications and everything but this pill is a one time uh, pill just one single dose of 1.5 milligram so it can it can be used in all the categories of women they can be used by any women 
no medical complications are reported no metabolic side effects are reported even if a woman takes this pill and it leads to failure of the method like for example she takes the pill but then it doesn't do its job and she ends up getting pregnant it is not associated with any fetal malformations or congenital defects in that case also there is no increased risk of having an ectopic pregnancy for women takes this pill but it is not a substitute for regular contraception i'm emphasizing it again and again now how effective is this levonar gestrel pill well if it is taken within 72 hours the failure rate is only about 1% okay so it's pretty effective but then yes it has to be used as soon as possible it is more effective if used within 12 to 24 hours now what if it has been more than 72 hours and uh, of the unprotected intercourse then the effectiveness of levonar gestrel i pill decreases especially if the woman is mid cycle that is somewhere near the time of her ovulation then also in both these cases the effectiveness of levonar gestrel pill decreases so what are the options for this woman if uh, a woman has had an unprotected intercourse and it's been more than 72 hours for some reason and she's not been able to take the pill or she's in her fertile period or if she is in her fertile time near mid cycle near the time of ovulation then also the effectiveness decreases so the, we have a better option in these circumstances and that better option is the uli crystal acetate so ulipristal acetate is a better option but then for this the woman will have to go and see a doctor because this pill is available on prescription it is not over the counter available right so what about this uh, ulipristal acetate it is available under the trade name ella prescription by doctor is required it actually is a selective progesterone receptor modulator works by the same methods like the levonar gestrel pill again delaying ovulation inhibiting uh, fertilization these are the methods that this pill also uh, uh, this pill also uses the same mechanism of action the dose that is used is a 30 mg dose this question was also asked in the uh <clears throat> latest a neat pg last year examination and very very importantly to note that it is effective for up to 120 hours that is 5 days 120 hours after unprotected intercourse now what about intrauterine uh, copper containing devices that is copper t as the method of uh, emergency contraception now i told you that again the woman will have to seek a healthcare provider but uh, it is the most most effective form of emergency contraception of all the contraceptive methods listed as emergency this is the most effective form of emergency contraception and most importantly it is effective for up to 5 days after unprotected intercourse as well so this is another advantage and the third advantage is that if a woman who is already having one child two child you know she's already multi parents and uh, she uh, uh, is coming to you for um, requesting for emergency contraception then one can take this opportunity to counsel her to get an intrauterine copper tea inserted because it will be like taking care of two things right like she can uh, it will be used as an emergency contraceptive also effective that way is also and also she can keep continuing this method once fitted once fitted she can also keep continuing to use this method as well so that is another advantage that is gained by using this form and very very importantly it is so very effective it is most effective because this is one method which prevents fertilization as well as prevent implantation now the copper ion that is contained in this copper t the copper wire that is present it leaches out the copper ions and those copper ions they affect the sperm motility the sperm function so it's in effect like it's like toxic environment for the sperms to be in and that is why the fertilization is prevent 
fermented. It leads to an inflammatory response in the endometrium, making it unreceptive for implantation. So it prevents implantation as well. So by both these mechanisms, it acts and therefore it is the most effective form of emergency contraception. But again, the downside of this method is that you cannot prefer to use this method in women who are at increased risk of sexually transmitted infections. So if a woman has, has an active genital tract infection and she has come requesting for emergency contraception, then this method cannot be used because then you will be introducing the infection uh, you know, up into the genital tract by inserting property there. So it's not preferred in women who have increased risk of sexually transmitted infections or who have established uh, genital infection, active genital infection right and also it will not preferred in rape victims right so please remember that as well so in rape victims i would not prefer to use this method of emergency contraception so at the end i would like to summarize that yes there are various methods of emergency contraception that are available and you should be knowing these methods the um importance of intrauterine devices, the importance of uh, uh, Levinar gestural containing eye pill, which is the most commonly used method, and also what are the advantages that are offered by Ulipristal acetate over Levinar gestural as the method for emergency contraception. Okay. So friends, uh, that's been my time here and uh, I just want to inform you where else can you find me on the Unacademy platform? Well, I will be taking special classes on the platform. These special classes are free, right? And the schedule I've lined up here for you. There's one on the 14th of July, the 15th of July, the 17th of July and the 18th of July. I'm taking sessions on special classes on diagnosis and pathology physiology of preeclampsia, eclampsia, the clinical management of preeclampsia, eclampsia, clinical management of IUGR pregnancy and antipartum hemorrhage, the clinical management. So I'm going to take these special class sessions on 14, 15, 17, 18 July, always at 8 p.m. So you can join me there for these classes as well. And uh, do not forget to hit the bell icon for notifications. Subscribe to the Unacademy platform. And you can use my code SHONALI to get a 10% discount on your subscriptions. Thank you.